Our next lesson is a very short story by Arkin Narayan. It's entitled An Astrologer's Day. Before we go into the summary of the story, I would like to tell you a little bit about Arkin Narayan. Rasipuram Krishna Swami Narayan is one of the best known of Indian English writers. So he is one of the most popular Indian English writers. He was born and brought up in Madras, that is the southern part of India. He began by contributing items to a city newspaper. When Punch accepted one of his pieces, he embarked in earnest on his career as a novelist and a short story writer. So how did he begin his career as a novelist and short story writer? He began by contributing items. Okay, He contributed his writings to a city newspaper. So um, one of his pieces was greatly accepted by people. So this is how he began his career as a short story writer and a novelist. His writings portray the Indian ethos with remarkable simplicity and humor. Most of his writings are very simple and humorous. Kate has lots of humor, like Swami and Friends. He created the fictional world, world of Malgudi. Now, R.K. Narayan has used this plays Malgudi over and over again in many of his short story. It is a fictional world. It is not a real place. Okay, Even in the story, he had made use of this place Malgudi as the setting. As you read on, you will go through lots of his achievements during his lifetime. You can go through these if you want to know more about the author. An astrologer's day is a story about a man who runs away from his home and pretends to be an astrologer after imagining that he has committed a murder. Okay, so the astrologer that we are going to um, see in the story is not a real astrologer. He is a fake astrologer who pretends to be a professional astrologer. Now, who is an astrologer? An astrologer is a person, okay, who uses astrology to tell others about their character or to predict their future. So if people want to know their future, they would go to astrologers and, you know, this is how astrologers earn their living. You can go through this in your free time. This is about Arkin Narayan and about his short story writing techniques. Now, let's see the theme of an astrologer's day. The theme of the story focuses on a single day in the life of, of an ordinary astrologer who suddenly faces past life in the present drastic situation. So, the entire story is about a situation that took place in a particular day one whole day okay the story has a twist in the tale the otherwise adventure less life of an astrologer suddenly poses a grave problem from his past life and demands alertness to tackle the situation so this astrologer as we have already known is not a real astrologer he runs away from his village and came to this place Malgudi to start his life. Since he had no income, he pretends to be an astrologer. People liked him so much, okay? They would come to him and he would earn lots and lots of money. But one day, he, he faces a big problem of his past life and he had to solve it in the spot using his wits and alertness. So we will see how the story ends as we go through the summary of an astrologer's day. The astrologer's day is a short story which deals with a day in the life of an ordinary but fake astrologer. 
The setting of the story is the town Malgudi, which is located in South India near Madras, near to Madras. It is not a story of contemporary times, but pre-independence times. Okay, so the Astrologer's Day, as I have already told you, is a short story which deals with uh, a fake astrologer. And where is it located? Okay, the setting of the story is located at Malgudi, which is in South India, near Madras. And this particular story is not of contemporary times or modern times. The story is based on um, pre-independence times, before independence. The story opens at the midday. This is the time when the astrologer opens his business. The writer describes how he begins his business. Okay, so the story opens in the afternoon. The afternoon is a time when the astrologer comes to this busy path in the village and opens his business. He begins his business by removing all his professional equipments like cowrie shells. Cowrie shells are um, small snail shells. Okay, there are shells of small snails that are usually found in the Pacific and Indian Ocean. So he would bring out the shells, charts, um, palmyra writings. Okay, these are um, paper made from leaves of palmyra trees. He would bring out all his equipments all his astrology uh, equipments on the floor he is also dressed typically like an astrologer to attract customers his forehead is bright with sacred ash and vermilion his eyes are assumed to have a prophetic light by his customers he wears a saffron turban Thus, the astrologer presented himself so perfectly that he was consequently a point of attraction for all the people. So this fake astrologer is no different from an original astrologer. People cannot make out that he is a fake astrologer. Why? Why is this? The reason is that he dresses so well. He presented himself so well. He had this color in his forehead okay, like a sindhu and he also had this saffron color turban wrapped around his head saffron is a mixture of yellow and orange color okay it was, it was a very bright color so people were attracted to him they even said that this particular astrologer um, had a prophetic light in his eyes so they would crowd around him the writer describes the path along the town hall park where the astrologer sits to lure his prospective customers. So we also get a description of the park where the astrologer sits. He carried on his business under a tamarind tree, tamarind tree on the town hall road. Okay, so where is the location? He sits under a tamarind tree. Where? On the town hall road. Okay. The path was the right place to carry on his business as it was amply crowded with different trades and traders like medicine sellers, hardware and junk, magicians, clothes sellers, etc. So this particular astrologer is very wise. Okay. He is not a foolish astrologer. He knows where to conduct his astrology he knows where to get customers so he would sit on the town hall park which is a very crowded place and had many other traders like medicine sellers hardware and junk magicians clothes sellers etc now next to him sat a fried groundnut vendor whose gas light en enabled him to carry on his business even after sunset so we can also see how wise he is by sitting next to a peanut here here it says grounded okay he sat near a man who sold peanut and this particular man has this gas light so as long as this man was around he could run his business 
even after sunset, so he would sit next to this man. He was very cunning, I should say. The astrologer was a shrewd person who hardly had any knowledge of astrology. See, this astrologer had no knowledge of astrology. He just made a guesswork when people approached him. He had to work hard to earn his wages. He had absconded from his native village, means he had run away from his village, since he didn't want to continue the traditional occupation of his forefathers, that is farming. So one reason why this particular man had run away from his village is that he did not want to continue um, the traditional occupation of his forefathers. What was it? Farming. He did not want to do this, so he ran away to this place called Malgudi. He never had any plans to return to his native village, okay? So he had no plans of returning to his native village. He was a mastermind at analyzing human mind and psychology. So he was very good at reading human mind and psychology, even though he had no special training. His strong perception made him diagnose the exact problem of his customers. His customer would finally leave satisfied. So he never left any customers unsatisfied. People would come to him and they would leave very, very satisfied. He was very talented, I should say. He closed his shop for the day when his neighbor, grounded vendor, blew out his light. So when did he close his shop, usually? Whenever this grounded vendor or this peanut seller of his light, that is when he stops his business. On the day under description in the story, the grounded vendor left and the astrologer was packing up his wares when he located a man standing before him. Okay, so this particular day, since the grounded vendor had bl had blown out his light, okay, he was about to go. So even this astrologer was packing his wares, he's packing his equipments and was ready to leave. And suddenly... He saw a man standing before him. He saw him, okay? He perceived him to be his prospective customer. So this astrologer thought that this person is like any other regular customer. When the astrologer invited him, he paused the challenge before him and his astrological signs. But this particular man who was standing in front of him uh, was not an ordinary customer. He made a challenge uh, to the ast astrologer. Okay, He even asked him some hard questions regarding astrology. Now, do you think the astrologer will be afraid? Yes, he was very, very scared. They have a deal between them. Okay, The man gave him an Anna and asked the astrologer to answer his questions. And if he doesn't answer satisfactorily, he will have to return the Anna with interest. Okay, so this particular man said, I will ask you some questions. And if you don't give me an appropriate answer or satisfactory answer, you will have to return back the one Anna that I give you with interest. Okay, I hope you understand. This man gave him an Anna, a coin. And he said, if you don't give me an appropriate answer, you will have to return back the coin with interest. At the same time, if the astrologer is able to answer the question satisfactorily, he would give him eight Annas. So he also said, but if you give me a satisfactory answer i would give you how much eight annas okay that's a lot during the pre-independence time but if the astrologer fails he would pay double amount that is 16 annas to the man so the man said if you don't get the answers correctly you will have to give me how much? Double the amount, double of six annas, sorry, double of eight annas, that is 16 annas to the man. So this was the deal. 
Thus the deal was finalized between them. The astrologer prayed to, ha to the heavens, so he was very, very scared. So he began to pray, asking God for help. Then suddenly the astrologer denied the challenge and requested the man to let him go. Suddenly what happened? The astrologer said, no, 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 I cannot do this. So he requested the man to go. The man said that he will not, sorry, the man said that he will not let him give in. So he is not giving up, okay? So he holds him in his grip. He holds him on his neck thereby making the astrologer shiver the astrologer became very very scared finally the astrologer realized that he is trapped and has no chance of moving out the man turned out to be a criminal by profession so who is this man in front of him he is known to be a criminal by profession he was not letting go of the astrologer so he's standing there asking the astrologer certain questions. The astrologer shivered and unwillingly accepted the challenge. He started telling about some woman, but the man was not satisfied and stopped him. He had a single question that, what, that whether he would get what he was searching for. The man promised the astrologer that if he is satisfied with his answers, he would pay him a rupee. Okay, so here, the astrologer, the astrologer was shivering. He was scared. So he started telling this man about some woman, um, thinking that, you know, he would be satisfied. But this man was not satisfied. He kept asking the uh, astrologer for more questions. And he even said that he would pay him one rupee a rupee if he gives him the satisfactory um, answer the astrologer prayed again okay he prayed a few incantations before replying the astrologer began with his prophecies by saying to the man that you were left for dead in the past and a knife had passed once on your chest so here the astrologer began telling him um, some prophecies okay he said that in the past someone had hit you or someone had poked you with a knife and had left you to die now hearing this the man was excited okay uh, since he had already faced it after he got wounded he was thrown into a well nearby to die a passerby saw him and rescued him and that is how he was saved from dying. The man was waiting to revenge the culprit who had attacked him and was in search of the culprit who had tried to kill him. The only thing which the man wanted to know from the astrologer was if he can find his killer. Okay, so what's going on here is the astrologer started telling him some prophecies. Okay, what was it? This particular story, prophecy is about this man who was attacked with a knife and was left to die. But luckily he did not die. But the attacker ran away. So this man wanted to know who his attacker is. Okay? The astrologer instantly replied that a culprit had died four months ago in a far off town so when the man said i want to know who my killer is the astrologer quickly replied and said that the man who tried to kill you had died four months ago the man was disappointed to hear this okay the man the man was not so happy to hear this because he wanted to take revenge the astrologer identified the name of the man before him as gurnayak so the man who was standing in front of him was called Guru Nayak. Okay, his name was Guru Nayak. He told the man that his village was a two days journey to north and warned him to go back and never to travel south again. The astrologer even told this man Guru Nayak to go back to his hometown and never come back again. 
now you you will know why he says this at the end okay he asked him to return to his hometown immediately as his life was in danger if he left his hometown again the man replied that he had just he had left home just to search the culprit who had tried to kill him and was interested in knowing if he had died in the worst way the astrologer satisfied him by informing the culprit was crushed under a lorry the man left after giving the astrologer a handful of coins the astrologer too winded up his belongings and went home so remember the man guru nayak he wanted to know who was the man who tried to kill him in the past but the astrologer cleverly said that the man who had tried to kill him had passed away and was crushed under a lorry four months ago now guru nayak hearing this was satisfied at last so he gave the astrologer a handful of coins and left and even the astrologer left for home at home okay the astrologer's wife was waiting for him worriedly since he was usually late that day unusually late that day now the astrologer would come home uh, at a particular time each day but this particular day he was very late so his wife was worried and waiting for him at home the astrologer flung the coins at his wife to count now seeing his worried wife the astrologer flung the coins that he had earned that particular day there were 12 and a half annas in all okay, it was a lot she was extremely happy to encounter this big mound seeing this the wife was very happy she planned to buy jaggery and coconut for their child who was demanding for sweets from a long time however the astrologer looked worried and was not happy like his wife now his wife was very happy she said i will buy some jaggery and coconut for our child but the astrologer did not seem to be so happy he seemed to be still worried he was angry at guru nayak okay as he had cheated him he promised to give a rupee and, and actually gave only 12 and a half annas remember guru nayak had promised guru, guru nayak had promised to give him 1 rupee but as he counted the coins it was only 12 and a half annas so he was very angry after dinner he shared the secret of his life with his wife so this is where we will come to know uh, about the actual story he shared the secret of his life with his wife okay he said that a great burden of his life was gone that day he was he always felt that he had killed guru nayak so the astrologer had run away from his native village due to the fear of being accused as a murderer okay so listen in the past okay before the astrologer ran away from his village he had attacked this man guru nayak with a knife and in fear of being accused as a murderer he ran away from his village he settled in malgudi and married and decided that he would never return back to his native village actually the man who tried to kill guru nayak was the astrologer himself okay so he was able to make accurate prediction about him though he hardly knew astrology the astrologer confesses to his wife that in his youth he was into bad company with guru nayak he drank gambled and quarreled badly one day and had a fight and had almost killed guru nayak so he confesses his past life to his wife that particular evening he said all my burdens are gone since he had been living with this guilt all this while this is how life with its unpredictable twists and turns had created an astrologer out of a vagabond so this is how the astrologer or we can say the man ended up to be an astrologer we will see more about the story in detail 
uh, as we go through the text.